Mr. Pete Coors, uh, I'm on the board of the Western Structural Association and chairman of the uh, capital campaign for the National Western Center. And I'm here with Doug Jones, who's our chairman of the board. And Doug, it's always great just to have an opportunity to chat with you and see how uh, how you're seeing things here. This has been a uh, been a disappointing period of time, I know for you, because of the cancellation of the 2021 stock show. That's a downer, but I want to talk about the, the positive things. I, I get your perspective on the capital campaign. Well, Pete, thanks to you and the vice chairs and to Angela, that's the bright spot on what's going on. It's been that uh, source of energy for all of us, I think. Uh, Everybody stayed in place, our donors, our commitments, we're expanding it, we're growing it, we're having fun with it, uh, which is the best part of it in a period of time where this year has been pretty fuzzy, pretty blurry at times, uh, given all the decisions and what's going on with our ep pandemic, but a capital campaign has been that place where the future and the energy and the new development and the new project and the new facilities is the place that I find I draw my greatest source of energy from. So I say it's going pretty damn well. Yeah, we're, we're excited about it. Yeah. From a, yeah. From a campaign standpoint, uh, we're getting close to 80 million, very, very close to 80 million dollars. And uh, we think that um, as this pandemic wears down, we'll have uh, a better opportunity to go meet with folks and talk to them about opportunities to support our campaign. And really these uh, these video presentations are designed to to really just do that. Honoring the Legacy is the is the name that we've given the campaign. And uh, and I think that's uh, whether we have a year off from Stock Show or, or not, uh, that's what we're dedicated to. Thank God, um, because I think it's going to come. We're going to come back bigger and better in 2022. The pinup demand for the stock show, for the capital campaign, for the project, for the redevelopment, I think is going to be uh, second to none. So I think uh, we can just kind of get through this, which we will, because all things pass. This too shall pass. Mama said there'd be days like this. I just didn't know he quite like this. But um, I I'm excited about where we're going and what we're doing. And I know uh, it couldn't have happened without you as our chair uh, and a great committee. And of course, Angela is our director of this campaign who keeps us on point every day and keeps that high energy going. So make sure we've got, uh, we never have a chance to let our guard down. Now, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, all of our vice chairs, Sue Ann Chiefs Rogers, uh, you, Ron, uh, Ron Williams, Pat Grant, and uh, Paul Andrews. So you mentioned fun. It is when we get together, we do have some fun. We, we tell some stories yep. and uh, we've main, maintained the optimism that you just spoke about. So uh, yep. really grateful for your leadership. Yeah, back at you, back at you. Okay, I'm here with uh, Paul Andrews, who's our president and CEO of the National Western Stock Show and the Western Stock Show Association, fellow board member. And uh, Paul, we've uh, we've been working for now pretty close to five years on this capital campaign. I'd just kind of like to have your thoughts on how it's going. Well, I'll tell you, the support, Pete, has been nothing short of miraculous, in my opinion. I mean, to be bumping up near $80 million at this point, and I know we still have a little ways to go here, but uh, that just shows you the passion that there exists for the National Western Stock Show. You know, we're a global brand, and the global brand is being shown bright right now through people supporting this campaign from levels from $10, you know, all the way up to millions of dollars worth of uh, contribution depending on the level of the individual's uh, wealth and desire to do so. So I could not be more happy than where we are today, I think. Well, the National Western Center is going to be, uh, as we next two, three, four years as we get it uh, completed, as our capital campaign is contributing to that. Uh, and we'll have our new world headquarters for the Western Stock Show Association. And I'm sure you're excited about uh, being able to move that forward. 
Yeah, the legacy building will be unlike anything the association's ever seen, right? They've never seen anything like the office space we're about to have and the building that also is a monument really to the history of the National Western Stock Show from 1906 forward to today and will be the receptacle for all the future generations to enjoy not only the past, but as we evolve in the National Western Center where I still think we can get upwards of a million attendees to the January stock show alone. So the Legacy Building, uh, really looking forward to it. Most of the comments of people that I've talked to, Pete, really are looking forward not only to the artifacts that can be out on display that they can enjoy year-round, but the new club, because the current club is so crowded for the members that it's very difficult to uh, have as good of experience as you could. So the club, I know my staff is overjoyed about the office space that will be there and uh, just the history the building will provide on campus. I think it'll frankly be the signature building on the entire campus. I think it'll uh, keep us in good stead for the next 100 years. Paul, thanks. I know how excited, you're as excited as I am about moving forward and uh, thanks for all your help on the campaign. You bet. Well, thanks for your leadership, Pete. We certainly couldn't have launched this campaign without a great leader and uh, I personally appreciate that a great deal uh, also. Well, it's great to be here with uh, my old friend, Ron Williams, a fellow member of the board of the Western Stock Show Association. And Ron, I just want to think about back when you spent some number of years as the chairman of the board of the, of the association and tell you how much I think everybody appreciated uh, your leadership and all that you contributed to, to this association. Well, thanks, Pete. But you know, as you know, it takes, it takes a team to uh, do what we're doing here. And you've done a fantastic job the last few years uh, guiding our campaign. And uh, it's, a, it's been a very good experience for me and, and for others to see uh, what, you can, you, what you've been able to add and, and take home because frankly, on the campaign, we couldn't have done it without you, so. Well, look, I, uh, <clears throat> 2016, and you were chairman of the board and chairman of the campaign at the same time. And I think you decided that maybe that was a little bit more load than you needed. And, uh, <laughs> that was a little more. And uh, uh, asked me if I'd, I'd take that uh, project over. And uh, I, was, I was glad to do it. It's been a, a wonderful experience. And actually, you left me in a, in a really, really good place. It was, it was pretty meager pickings back in those days. We had, I think, $3 million in the bank for the campaign. We had a campaign target of $50 million, which we raised $100 million in order to be able to fund the new headquarters, national world, world headquarters of the, of the National Western Stock Show. And uh, you and uh, you and Seal had contributed and committed to making a contribution for the uh, $10 million to the, uh, to the campaign. And I think that that gave us the impetus and the energy to move this whole project forward. Well, thank you. I, uh, all I can say is, in my mind, it is the best investment I've ever made. Well, you, you know, you've been around uh, ranching and rodeoing for a long time, so uh, uh, you started coming to the stock show, as I remember, as a, as a young lad. Yeah, and I just uh, I completed, gotten out of high school, just graduated from high school the prior few months, and I was working, helping a guy run his cut farming, his uh, cow-calf and uh, cryland farming operation because he had to have surgery. And one weekend, my two cousins and I split. We, we, I came lived in, in uh, Nebraska and drove the 300 miles to the stock show. And we came across, we skipped out of school on the Friday and drove and stopped in Julesburg and got some Coors beer because in those days, Coors wasn't sold in uh, Nebraska. <laughs> and so you, you owe me a case of Coors. <laughs> no, no, but and that's all we had was Grain Belt and Schlitz. <laughs> and so uh, at any rate, we stopped in Julesburg, got a case of beer and came on to Denver and checked into one of those flea bag motels. And uh, that was our first experience at the stock show in 1965. But uh, we've basically been coming ever since. So you've been hooked on the stock show ever since. And uh, 
the new uh, the new yards that are that are right now in the process of being completed will be the Ron and Seal Williams uh, yards, and I know you and your family will have a great amount of joy out of uh, being able to to uh, see that as such an important part of what Stock Show is all about, and uh, the campaign's bumping up almost eighty million dollars uh, right now, and we've got to we've got to finish that out. So. Uh, uh, you've been incredibly helpful as a as a vice chair of our campaign committee, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate it. Well, thanks. It's been a joy to work with you and the others in the front in the uh, stock show group. And, you know, it's been, like I said, it's a team effort, and uh, you you uh, took on the campaign as a high priority for you, and it's amazing what we've done. As you just talked about, how you know, eighty five million when. We wondered whether or not we were ever going to get anything beyond the 10. So that was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun. Ron, it's great talking to you always. Thanks for the help. All the best. Appreciate it. We'll see you in 2022 for the, you know, when we get things back on the track. I'll definitely be here. This is Pete Coors, a member of the board of the Western Stock Show Association and chairman of the uh, capital campaign for the new National Western Center, uh, at least the stock show's part of it. And it's great to be here with my, I guess I can say, old friend, Pat Grant. And <laughs> Pat and I go back a long, long way. So Pat, uh, we'll go back about uh, five years or so when uh, when I started to champion and, and be chairman of this campaign and working with you and other members of the board to uh, do what we thought might be a, uh, an impossible task. I think at the time, Ron and Sue Williams had, uh, had committed $10 million for the, uh, for the new yards. And I think we had $3 million in the bank <laughs> and we were embarked on a $50 million campaign. And when I started, I said, uh, we've got to have a headquarters for the National Western. And uh, that's going to probably cost another $50 million, so I think we ought to make it a $100 million campaign. You and I go back a long time on this board of the National Western. And it goes back to the early 1990s. And from that point in time, when Nick Petrie and I talked about having you join the board, it was his vision and my strong support to involve you as we were going through and as we could see these challenges coming up. And the challenges were manifold. And I'll never forget uh, having lunch with you at the first floor of your old Coors headquarters office building. And you said, Pat, I can help out a little bit. Uh, how do you think I might be able to help maybe on the nominating committee? And I said, Pete, uh, you being on the nominating committee is not your highest and best use. We got to, <laughs> you are prominent, you are highly respected, you bring a lot of reputation to any effort you support. And I uh, said at the time, Ron Williams was chairing both the, chairing the organization, chairman of the board, and chairing the capital campaign. And Ron said to me, Pat, I think it's too much. There's a lot going on organizationally dealing with the city and the county of Denver, that I need to help uh, bring this mayor, Mayor Hancock along. I think I should step aside. And uh, I said, well, I think we've got the right guy to do that. And he said, who do you think? Uh, I said, it's got to be Pete Coors. But whether Pete does it is another thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> So you and I had a conversation, you had a, a conversation, so I'm told, with Ron Williams. And uh, Ron thought you would be just the right guy to do this. So how fortunate were we to have you make that kind of commitment? And I do remember, too, 
other important facts. One, when you said you would do this, you said it's on one condition, Pat Grant. <laughs> you said, you said uh, I want to bring this Angela Lawrence on board. And I said, uh, I don't know Angela. And you said she's very good, she's important, and she will help get this campaign going. So we met, I was impressed, we were all impressed, and Angela became the campaign director. The other event that I will never forget is there was a stock show meeting out here, and it could have been a Boy Scout breakfast. And your friend and my friend, we were all going to our cars, the, the breakfast had ended, and uh, Mr. Hirschfeld came up to me and said, Pat Grant, how did you get Pete Coors to chair your capital campaign? <laughs> Any organization would give their left arm to have Pete do that. So how fortunate we were and still are. You've done a magnificent job chairing this campaign. And well, I, hats well, off and kudos to you. Thank you, thank you for all that. Uh, and those accolades and all those nice words, Pat. I, I think the, the thing that's made this campaign work so far has been uh, teamwork. And uh, clearly uh, the, the team we have is in, in terms of uh, executive staff doing this fundraising, Angela, has, uh, <clears throat> has helped keep this thing on the, on the track. And we're enormously grateful for, uh, for all she's done. And, uh, you know, as we look at this cancellation of the 2021 stock show, it just occurred to me that uh, Angela says, well, we can't slow down. And so it's been, uh, it's been quite an interesting experience. We're, we're at just under $80 million. Now, a big piece of that is because of very generous, gracious, uh, big donors. And yet a large percentage of it is coming from people that are just happy to be wanting to be part of the National Western and uh, to participate with this campaign as an expression of their sincerity and, and uh, interest in the stock show. So it's been quite a thing. We've got a ways to go yet. And you know, we're still selling bricks and, and brands and uh, horseshoes. Uh, we have some other big items that, uh, that we're working on as well. And one of those is the uh, Families of the West project, which you have graciously agreed to kind of help out with. You want to explain what we're trying to accomplish there? Families of the West is, is this notion of identifying and acknowledging these families who have been very important to not only National Western, but in many respects independent and separate from National Western that have been important to Colorado and the West's history. And this is a way of acknowledging and of expressing appreciation to these families that some of which go back two, three, four generations have been here in Colorado that have helped lead and develop and grow Colorado to what it is. And I think there's no better way in which to marry the notion of acknowledging and expressing gratitude to these various families. There are only 15 that will be honored and by making a contribution to this campaign. But they are, they are names and families that are well known in many, many respects, but there are some families that are not well known. The Coors family is going to be part of families of the West, and it should be. The Coors Brewery and the Coors family, what they've done for Colorado, indeed the whole Rocky Mountain West, and indeed the country has been fabulous. Uh, there are other families that will be identify, but we're still in that communication stage, and I think it's a wonderful way of attribution. There's one other comment I'd like to make about your campaign, Pete. You've got great staff. You've also got five or six outstanding vice chairs 
who I think have really put their shoulder behind the harness, helping you move this marble forward, helping you move this goal and achieve that goal forward. And uh, they have been generous of time and talent and resource. And they really are important, but also it's important, I think, Pete, as you have said, and you have said many times, the National Western is a beloved institution. People love this organization. They love what it stands for. They love the values we represent and the fun and excitement and entertainment. And I, I think that's why you've had such you and this whole team to which you refer of had success. Yeah, I, and I could reach out to uh, to the rest of the vice chairs, Sue Ann Schutz Rogers, Doug Jones, Ron Williams, yourself, and Paul Andrews, uh, who have been uh, the vice chairs of this campaign, and and it's been great great fun meeting almost once a month, I guess, uh, on a regular basis. Just talk back a little bit about Families of the West. They'll be recognized. These 15 families will be recognized with, uh, with a picture and a, and a write-up on a plaque in the uh, New National Western Club Lounge, which will be uh, uh, an integral part of, uh, of the, really the ongoing history of the National Western. So uh, pretty excited about that. And... Uh, uh, as we continue to cultivate families that might be willing to make an additional contribution in order to be recognized in that way we think is really important. And it'll give our exhibitors, our members, uh, an opportunity to reflect on the contributions that these families have made to the legacy of the West. It, just thinking back five, uh, five years and getting this campaign, uh, not off the ground because Ron Williams really did that, but taking it to this uh, to this stage has been has been exciting. It's a lot of hard work, um, but uh, but I think we're making great progress. And though things have slowed down a little bit here in the last uh, last year because of the doggone pandemic, uh, we're going to just forge ahead and, and make things happen. And hopefully, uh, we'll be back to being able to make more direct contact with potential donors here. Uh, uh, during 2021 and more than anything we're all looking forward to 2022 and stock show and i've always heard that in capital campaigns the early money tends to be a little easier to get the last money is harder to get and so i think i'm very optimistic i'm i'm very uh, satisfied and confident we'll get to your goal of 100 or 100 million or even more, but uh, we've, we've still got work to do. Well, the campaign is called Honoring the Legacy, and that's what we're intending to do. That's what we're doing right now, actually, uh, as we celebrate the spirit of the National Western and, uh, and look forward to a, to a great future. Pat, it's, uh, anytime I get a chance to sit down with you, it's a, it's a great experience and it's a great fun to reminisce about uh, uh, old days and going back to when uh, we were either teenagers or, or even before that and our families would get together and we, uh, we've had a lot of fun over the years and um, grown in our respect and our love for each other and for the National Western, uh, which I appreciate more than you know. Well, and I, all I can say is right back at you. Everything you've said, I'd say equally and more back to you, Pete. I've got the Highest respect for you and the Cole Coors family. So, well done and thanks for all you do. It's Thumbs a up. Pleasure. Th Thumbs up, Pat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we, we there got to do you that. go. We're welcoming Sue Anschutz Rogers, member of the Board of Directors, Western Stock Show Association Vice Chair, honoring the Legacy Campaign. Sue, thanks for being with us. As you may know, I am pitching for uh, Campaign Chairman Pete Coors here today, and he wanted me to talk about the campaign to which you are Vice Chair. Now, this campaign, just about at the $80 million mark, when you started all of this, really just four years ago in 2016, did you think we'd get to this far this quickly? Uh, to be really truthful, it's very doubtful. 
and then along came the virus. And I thought, there's just no way. Being a philanthropist also and running a foundation, the individual giving is by far exceeds foundations giving. So a lot of these, whether it's five dollars, ten dollars, twenty-five, a thousand on up, individuals are the ones that give the most. And in this time of the coronavirus, so many people are suffering economically, unemployment, food, shelter, that people are going to, I was, and, and they are. I just had a feeling that so many people would be giving to people that needed help, and they have. So I am really surprised that at this point, we have gotten to where we are. So why do you think it resonates with people so much? Is it that the stock show has always been that bright, shining light that's always, always been there? Well, it's been there for 115 yeah. years, and people really look forward to the stock show. It is a big event. It's after Christmas is over with, mm -hmm. and everybody's still standing, okay? Right. <laughs> but people love the stock show, and it's just something that is so historical, and it's not just Denver. People from rural areas come in, other states, Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, everywhere. But you know, when I, when I talk to people out at the stock show, the one thing, and I'm sure you find this too, so many people say, oh, I remember coming here as a kid. That's, that's right. why my kids are now here. That is something, that's that thread that keeps us all coming to the wonderful stock show. And, and because it is the stock show and the very nature of it, you never get bored with it. No. Hmm. The campaign, as you said, it gets gifts anything from 5 or $10 all the way up to the, the multi-million dollar commitments. Concerning that the National Western has never really done any fundraising of this magnitude before, continue on the appeal to donate for folks. Well, back to the individual giving. Right. I mean, I think right now, because uh, I haven't seen the numbers recently, but I, th I would venture to say that most of it has been individual giving. Right. Some foundations will give, but a lot of foundations, a capital campaign as opposed to helping people is a big jump. Sure. So it's difficult for not only foundations, but some people, particularly individuals, they would rather help people than give to sure. bricks and mortar. Right. I think some of this too, and, and, and what do you think about people when they come out to the stock show in 2022, hopefully that's when the next one will be, you know, they can kind of say, I had a little part That's in this. Right. And that is certainly a, a source of pride. And I think it is. And what they have planned also are bricks with names yes. on them. right. And brands and that sort of thing. So they will feel, as you said, they'll feel like they have some ownership in the National Western. Right. The things that you mentioned, the bricks, they can go out and point to it and say, look, there's my name. And that is so, so important to these people. We've talked about this before, uh, that your name is going to forever be on the Livestock Center in recognition of the tremendous support of the capital campaign. Tell me what that means to have your name on the Livestock Center. Well, it, it's an honor and I appreciate it very much. But as I've said before, I am not a person that likes to see my name on a lot of buildings. Yeah, but uh, I'm very pleased and proud to have my name on this one. And I think for the young women that are coming up, that's got to be a source of uh, encouragement and, and, and something to sort of shoot for uh, themselves. And th th this wonderful woman who was so instrumental, you know, was well rewarded. Well, I think it will. We'll, we'll do that. All right. Mm -hmm. Sue Ann Schutz-Rogers, thank you so much for being with us and spending time with us today. Well, happy to do so.